Okay, so <clears throat> now um, the thing with um, I mean, the way I sort of see all illnesses is I don't actually catch illnesses, I catch the belief in, from the collective in certain illnesses. So there is no such thing as long COVID. I mean, there is and there isn't. In the, in the collective consciousness, uh, you know, I can, I can pick up from the collective software, shall we say, that there's this new fear-based limiting thought, which is uh, COVID. And so everyone's talking about it. It's on the news everywhere. Uh, it's the hot topic of the day. And then suddenly millions of people, you know, everyone's describing what the symptoms should be. And then millions of people around the world are getting these symptoms. Yeah, and it's some news everywhere. And then I, you know, I might even get these things. I sort of see that as my God, I'm not afraid of the illness. I'm afraid of catching the belief, you know, and, and doctors and people sort of saying, hey, you should believe that there is this thing called COVID. And then how you express COVID is you should get, you should be exhausted, uh, find it very difficult to sleep. And some of these are picked up just um, not consciously, but unconsciously from the collective of how to express this sub-program or this, um, uh, I mean, what do we, what, it's, it's, a, it's a belief system, that's right. It's, it's actually a package of beliefs of how to express certain categories of illness. So if I start getting the symptoms, then I, I know I have to do a few things. I've had experience with several illnesses, some of them major. So let's say, um, well, the first one I would do religiously is to cancel my belief I have COVID and long COVID and to even believe that such a thing exists. So I cancel my belief in COVID, in long COVID and um, exhaustion of an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. God did not crave it. God did not create COVID and so it's not real. God did not create insomnia and so it's not real. God did not create uh, exhaustion and so it's not real. I surrender God uh, the idea of COVID, or my, I certainly got my belief in COVID uh, and exhaustion, insomnia, and uh, uh, and pray for a miracle. See this differently. So all of those things, I you know, because I'm trying to wash out the belief. Uh, because um, so um, I do know, uh, being a hypnotherapist, uh, listening to you know the course. I mean, just the course in miracles. These are just magical ideas from the collective insanity, which I pick up, and then my and then I express out of fear or guilt to, uh, and so these, these things take on board. Once I've got them though, it is a lot more work to clear it. So hence the thing of keeping myself positive and not trying to pick up negative beliefs, especially people who come in and say, look, you, should, you know, try and tell you that you should, have, you should have this or express their belief very strongly, you know, to immediately cancel that or do some cancelings afterwards to clear that out of mind. Uh, with exhaustion, I do feel the feelings. So just being with the exhaustion and trying to feel it out, it's an illusion. Actually, there's lots of energy, infinite energy here right now. But it's like this, it's like a foot being in a foggy cloud of exhaustion. So for me, I just sit, see, is there something witnessing this exhaustion? And I'm not going to label it as exhaustion of COVID. I'm just going to try and be with it and see if it starts to, you know, every day for say an hour and, and, and be sure that some of it's been experienced out. And it took me actually five years, I think, with the kidney exhaustion before there was a miracle in a transplant and that completely left with the asthma, feeling out the breathlessness every time I had an attack with the gout attacks, feeling them out. And what would happen is the attacks would happen less often and be less severe until they, they stopped. So there's that exhaustion, insomnia. Yes, just one of my experience on insomnia. Um, my ego, you know, if I really want to get to sleep, I know that there are my favorite tactics for getting myself to sleep is to do what my ego doesn't want to do. I've noticed this in, do, in running spiritual groups and in my own ego, which seems to be the same as others, is like I can bore my ego to sleep. <laughs> You know, it's like my ego would probably like watching TV the whole night and not get any sleep. But how about listening to like my, my, an audio from Dr. David R. Hawkins? It's so, it's like my ego would rather send me to sleep than listen to something about deleting my ego. Um, or listening to spirit, you know, sp uh, um, I started listening to some uh, Christian music, sort of saying Jesus and stuff. You know, my ego doesn't want to stay awake any longer with that going on nonstop in the background. 
So just like, like, no, you better go to sleep. You can't listen to this the whole night. So it's like, and I know that the ego is there keeping me awake. And if I just, just have the willingness to do something that my ego would go, I'm just going to put you to sleep. You just cannot listen to this spiritual speaker or this spiritual music the whole night. I'm sending you straight to sleep. So I just go. And, you know, I'll put something inspirational on. I go, wow, that was spiritually so inspirational. It just shifted everything. Listening to some my one of my teachers, I'm listening to that, you know, and go, well, it's okay. If I'm going to listen to that the whole night, it'll be spiritually productive. And then my ego will just send me off to sleep. I know it will, because it would rather, I mean, it would probably happily eat donuts and watch um, um, some, some kind of drama, but not, not spirituality. I've heard other people talk about listening to the Course in Miracles audio, having several hours of that. I think I should send most people to sleep. Um, the ego is very cunning, you know, so I found boring it to death. I actually had this, this is true. It might sound like I'm sort of doing my ego in. People have said when they listen to my YouTube videos, it sends them to sleep. Oh my God, that, I, and I, see, I see that as a great compliment, you know. Uh, I do the same thing. Um, so I'll stop the video there.